Today's theme is equality with man. We're talking about Eve, and this is part two in our study, coming from Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. If you recall a story about Adam and Eve and how Eve partook of the fruit that the serpent beguiled her and how all of that sin happened in the world, we call that moment the fall. So before that time, Eve was perfect. She was created perfectly. Now after that, the humanity has had many problems ever since. But before this sin, it was perfect. Now, I want you to notice that God made Eve from Adam's rib. That's Adam's flesh. He took it from Adam. And it's very important the location from which God took that flesh. It wasn't from his head. It wasn't from his feet. God took it from his side, from his rib. And God made from that rib Eve. Now, have you ever thought why not the head or the ear or the elbow or any other place on your body? Why the rib? Now, I've heard some people say, well, that's because that's the place that's closest to your heart. You really love the person and you really enjoy the companionship and it shows love. And so there's another perspective that says, well, it was just equality because taken from the same part and now the man and the woman are equal. It's not the man that has more power or more superiority than the woman, but they were created equally. So in that equality, they happily enjoyed the relationship. It was a perfect relationship, no sin whatsoever. Adam and Eve just enjoyed their time together. It was a perfect picture of marriage. Doesn't it seem like that? Just day in and day out, there was no fighting, no struggle of who's got more power. It was just perfect equality between the two of them. But then what happened? As you look around today, there's no equality. There's all kinds of problems. They're struggling for power. Men have always tried to usurp the authority over women, and women therefore try to regain their part of the power and sometimes over the power of the men. But it was the fall, that first sin, that caused all of that. Now, maybe as you look back to your parents, did they have a good example of marriage? Or maybe you and your wife. But when we look back to Adam and Eve, that was a perfect model of marriage. That was before sin ever entered the world. And they enjoyed that equality, that union. In our next lesson, we're going to expand upon this idea about Eve.